Good afternoon, everybody. Right, um, the last part of the challenge for the uh, journal to inspire, we have to alter three bags. So I've got the thing up there. This is prompt number 22, and sadly, it's our last one. I oh, know. So, sorry, I just need to get my ink because I've just tied it up oh, from the last one. Um, yes, I've got paper bags, but um, I thought I'd make some of my own. I've got a piece of brown paper here. I think it's from the fish and chips that we had in um, Exmouth. So I thought I'd try and make a bag out of that. Um, I've got the Amazon packaging down there. Um, I have got some lunch bags somewhere, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to faff around and do some stuff and let's see what we can make. I did some die cutting earlier, um, so I'm going to... I've got my watercolours out. I picked this set up from Charity Shop, £3. Um, I just had a quick look because I couldn't remember what they were like. And basically, they'd never been used. I don't even know if they're a decent brand, actually. They might have been slightly, but anyway... Let's mess around. I want to stamp some dragonflies. Um, yeah, because in case you didn't know, <laughs> I'm making a dragonfly journal. Just in case. You might not have known that because I might not have mentioned it 3,000 times already. So I'm just going to stamp them on. I've got a little um, hobby craft watercolour postcard thingamajigger um, yeah so I'm just going to stamp a few and I'm doing it in archival ink uh, because it's waterproof permanent so and then I can cut these out I'm just going to sort of splash on some watercolour if that makes any sense it's my spray bottle there yes it is good so I can never find that when I want it there and then I just want to do the wings so I, I can feel a bit of layering in the future here and we're going to get those in just there all I really want is the wings and then I can fussy cut those out oh no that's okay right so that's that Put that over there out of the way. Uh, right, let's mess around with these. I've got a big brush. It's actually the one I use for the glue, so it's still got a bit of glue in it, but it's fine. Just blow on that for a bit. Okay. Um, I'm thinking blues. Not quite sure. Need spray. Should have dried by now. Oh, let's take it. I'll tell you what, Susan, let's be sensible. Let's move everything out of the way before we start spraying water, shall we? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. It really is like kindergarten sometimes here, isn't it? Uh, the trick is with that is you spray the back and it flattens itself out. Right. Okay. Let's try again. I don't know why, but dragonflies to me are always blues, purples, and that kind of colour. So we can put this off to the side to dry whilst we get on and make the bags. This might be slightly longer, this one, so... There'll be one more from me because um, yeah, I want to make a cover for the little journal that I've been working in and um, you might want to come along and enjoy the ride. Who knows? You might as well see the last bit. And that'll be it. 
I think Carol was saying they're thinking of doing another one. Um, but uh, what did she say? I can't remember. Is it sort of later on in the year, sort of um, autumn time or fall, however you refer to it? It's when the jumpers come back out of the cupboards, you know, the shorts go away, the summer tops, all that goes away. Paints were alright. I didn't really need them because I've got my other set, but there is a lot more colours in here than my little um that little one that oh crikey, not the water over there, that little one, the aquafine. A few more colours, which is quite nice to have. Right. I'll set that off to the side to dry. If we get a chance for a fussy cut, if not, I'll just sort of say, and then I'm going to put a dragonfly on that one when it's dry. That kind of thing. Right. Let's put that back in its little cubby hole over there. That'll probably fall out in a minute and scare the life out of us. Let's put that up here to dry. Okay. Right. And of course now we've got water everywhere. <sighs> Quite enjoying my glass mat. Goodbye. Right, okay, so I don't want these to be massive. So, oh, come on. There's a definite crease there, so that needs to be torn off. It's upside down this way, but it's all right on that side, so we'll just go with some. That's not straight at all, is it? Come on, eyesight, don't let me down. Maybe I'll just get me chopping. <coughs> oh, it, because it'll just go belly up if I don't. So. Right, let's chop this straight first of all. So let's just do a small one. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll keep those because you know we just do, don't we? Um, yeah, I should have left a gusset, I suppose, but this, this is fine. This is just a simple little bag, if I can actually get the glue to work. Disaster! I just dropped my clean on the floor. Ah, there it is. Hold on, stay there. Don't lose that one because it's um, a stainless steel one, so it doesn't discolour like a sewing pin does. All right, come on, straighten yourself out. Sort yourself out, please. Okay. A, a thumb thingy. Hang on, where's the front? That one. This one I envisage will just be stuck straight into. I suppose you could leave a, you could leave it open on the back or on the side actually as a tuck. So it is up to you. What you do, obviously. Right. Um, Oh, 
this was a free printable on Pinterest so there is so much free resources out there peeps you really don't need to go and buy stuff because um, I just I find all this Have I got that black one again no um, yeah I find all this free and it is literally just type in the search bar free printables and up it all pops sometimes there's a link to an Etsy shop which is a bit naughty because it's not free um, um, but sometimes most of the time it is it is a genuine freebie um, uh, there is something called is it blue box I think it was called and that does that takes you through to their website and that is all free and it's all um, copyright free stuff that you can just download and print basically so you don't have to go out and spend pounds and pounds and pounds on printables but then actually I mean to, to be fair they are quite cheap aren't they and obviously once you've bought them that's it you know so I mean if there is something that a designer has made that you particularly are in love with then obviously go for it but um, I, I don't know I just I like to do my own thing I guess I think is the and if I ever get technolo technologically minded I will do my own um, scans and what have you my computer's really old and but uh, yeah I, I just at the moment I don't have the cash to be spending out on a new computer so and that's as simple as that really I really like that but I feel it's a little bit big so that might be better actually and I feel I feel the need for more paint This was mixed media card. Let me get this paints back. Hold on. Right, stay. This is not the way to do it. You should let it dry, really. But there it is. That'll do nicely. I'll leave that out just in case I feel the need again as we water. There it is. So let me just dab that a bit. This isn't going to be dry. Okay, never mind. And the sun's gone down now, so it's not in the window. And there's a moth. Go away. <laughs> right, stick these bad boys down. My tummy's growling. I'm sorry if you can hear it. It's all because, sorry if you're a vegetarian, it's all because I've got um, gammon in the slow cooker. I buy a hunk of it and then I um, sort of chop it up and freeze it and what have you. But 
generally I just eat the whole lot because <laughs> I do love me a bit of gammon new potatoes salad oh. it's the bees knees Okay, so really simple, but yeah, I quite like that actually. It helps if you've got a decorative bag, obviously. So, um, I mean, I have got the little, you know, the nice patterned ones, but um, I really just wanted to make these from scratch. So, it's all good. Right, one. Cool. Again, you know, if the dragonflies were dry, I might cut one out actually and stick it on there. That'd be quite nice on there. But this is um, soaking. I've got it far too wet. Ridiculous. I should have done it earlier. Right. One. Okie dokie. Uh, let's try it out of the Amazon packaging. Let's see what we can do here. So this time. Ooh, which side do I like? That side. Cool. That's not straight at all, is it? I do want quite a tall one actually for in the, on the page. garden was all right the other day in case you're worried <laughs> I had to get out there though <laughs> it's quite funny bless her she's a good landlady I shouldn't moan really she's very uh I mean you know some landlords you just they just leave you you know you don't see them for a year well years um but yeah she's um she's very good really I've got no idea what I'm talking about. I was um, filming yesterday. My landlady was going to come over and do the uh, the hedge. And it was very loud streaming. <laughs> I was on the 52 tags one, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it got a little bit loud and I got a little bit worried. That is so wonky. Holy moly. What the heck's gone wrong here? I'm going to have to get some grid lines or something because I can't fold. Is that straighter? Oh, God. Hold on. I love your glass mat, but I might have to give in and buy a proper glass craft mat because of this crazy eyesight of mine not allowing me. see straight lines sorry half a sentence okay that's better what's I doing your head in <laughs> those of you can, can see straight lines I bet you were going no that is so wonky that even straight oh
Right. Okay. Thank you. You've done your job. Well done. That was painful. <laughs> Okey doke. Stick you back in there. Um, I really want to stick some fabric on. Sorry, I'm glancing around my room here. I really want to stick some fabricy bits on this one. took them to my daughter's last night. I sat doing a load of hand sewing whilst I was dog sitting. Um, I've left them downstairs. Just looking around, see what I've got here. Not a lot. Well, that can go there. Let's do a little bit of collage work, shall we? Why not? This is how not to do it. Change my mind and put it up there, I think. Bits and pieces that we got here. up a little bit I'm not worried about having the stamp showing so that's fine uh, any more bits any more bits where's all my bits got a bit of this on why not Really want to cover up that signature. Let's put that there. Oh no, you wally. Up a little bit, Susan. Keep that there because we might need that one. I don't know whether to make this one um, a flippy one. I might do actually. Let's put uh, tear a bit of that off actually. Um, let me think. What do I need to do? Um, Yeah, it needs to be. I don't really want to. So I've got loads of these blooming things printed out. Try and keep things straight. <laughs> okay. right. Yeah, so if I stick that on there, yeah, and then it can just stick to a page like that. Okay, if we put it that way around. So 
need to go right over. Seems like ideally, yes. Right, yep, it does. Okay. Sorry, I'm rambling away to myself. I don't even know if you can hear me or even if you're interested. You might not be. So that can actually stick in and just flippy flappy. Okay. Right. So we just need a bit more, bit more paper. Oh, so we don't. Any bad words on there? No, I don't think so. Could actually go over to there and we can just cover the whole thing. Just check there's nothing rude. <laughs> no. It wasn't a rude book actually, I think mean, it was quite a nice book, so um, I'm not too worried. Where's me blooming? Where are you? To, oh well, I can turn it around to the other side, can't I? Because I've got a collage the other side as well. So bear with me. Yeah, and again, I'm thinking. Fine, they're up quite good. I did buy um, Stamperia one, which has got a dragonfly on it. I don't know if it's a small one. They're massive at the moment. It's a small one there. Ooh, there's a taggy, taggy one. I don't know. See, there's that one on. There's that one on the front page. That'd look quite nice, actually. That's what I love about Stamperia. You can, you know, even though that's the front cover. Come on. You can actually use all of it. Right. Just a moment. Got my deck of those scissors there. There's only 10 pages in that pad, but I thought it was worth it because there's some really nice images in there. So, I, don't, I can't remember how much it was. I just dropped a bit too far over that one. Maybe we just have the stamp dragonfly that side and maybe we'll incorporate this into the back of this one. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Although that actually, having said that, it ought to be a journaling spot on the back, really. Could just cheat, couldn't I? Just do that. Such a nice image, that one. <sighs> I'm doing it. 
full check, we're going to do it. That dragon fire can go on something else. Because we need to get motoring. So I've got one more to do. And I might pause you actually, because Carol did a cracking one with a bag. I'm really tempted to have a go at doing it. But it means digging underneath my desk. Because <laughs> I've buried... Oh. I thought I was being awfully clever and thought, oh, I'll, I'll just put all that sort of stuff in there and blah, 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 blah. And actually now I can't blooming get to anything. So, um, right, what I'm going to do is, what am I going to do? And if I can tear that from the other side, what do you reckon the chances are? Probably not a lot. Let's give it a go. Could just leave it. No, I really like that torn edge. Right, bear with me. Okay. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. Yeah, I think that'd be great to leave that as a journaling spot on the back there. So maybe we'll just stick a bit of this down the side here. I just... Should I just leave that on? Yeah, why not? And then stick something there. Alright. Sold. you or do I want to leave you straight? I think I want to leave you straight but let's tear the top. It's a bit fragile this paper so I can't go too heavy with it. Love! Okay, happy with that. Um, have we got a label handy? Ooh. That'll be quite cute up the top there. Ah, ding dong. Happy days. I'm going to use this to stick that on there. Yeah, like plenty of space to journal there. I mean, that could always be covered and then uh, journal there as well. Okay, so if a dragonfly is going to go there, I think I need to do something there. Um, got this hot mess. And that's just a stamping pad paper left over. Um, running on a bit isn't it I 
actual check. Hold on. I quite like the red because that's matching up with that stamp up the top there. Um, strangely, There's a lot of black going on on there, and I think that's what it needs. It's getting a bit grungy, isn't it? Bit. It's a bit damp, this cloth, so. Mm, okay, I might think about that. Right, um, there's that. Until I can put that dragonfly on, I can't really tell what I want on there, I'll be honest with you. Because I don't think that is going to look right. Or is it? I don't dislike it. Maybe over here. Let's just darken that edge up a bit. Needed something. Ta -da! Well, it looks alright in my eye anyway. Where did that need to go? Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'll use art glitter glue because it's a fairly chunky card this one quite scrappy isn't it but I like too else I'm tempted to do is put a red Got some red ones in here somewhere come on where are you there you are Needs to be the red. Red. Didn't that come in red then? No, it must have been just black. Green and brown. Okay. Again, another freebie off of um, Pinterest. I've got one there. Just thinking about. Hmm. 
No, I think it needs to be the red, and then that's the magic three, isn't it? And sort of on there with that, because that kind of brings that into the into the fold. Right, just needs to dull down a little bit. crease it just go around the edges because I've got slightly dodgy cutting lines there right nothing else I like and then yeah so that will flippy flappy on the page like so and then we can have a tag in there I think that's pretty cool great place for that I'll do me I was really keen to keep that torn top in case you haven't noticed and um, because I just thought that you know say so scrappy I like cool pocket number two I'm um, going to see how long we've been going because I think it's like forever and uh, 42 minutes right okay um I won't do Carol's one then go and check out her um because it looked it looked to me like it takes a bit of time so um should we do a nice simple one out of the book page got a load of book page hanging around here do the same again do a little bit of collage on this one not a lot stick it with that that'll do uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. I'm going to leave the torn edge again Will I leave the torn edge or shall I? I've got my stamp edge scissors here. Let's take that off. Sometimes these cut beautifully and other times they are a proper pain in the you know what. A bit like that. I guess I need to do the old, um, uh, what's it called, uh, tin foil trick. I didn't put, I need to put a hoofa doofa in there. And of course we need to do the old inky dinky bit. Though this has got quite a nice bit of pattern on, a bit of age on that one. Do you know what? I'm really tempted to just... Nah, it's a bit cheaty, isn't it? <laughs> oh, come on. Nearly dry. They're not going to be ready, though. So I'm not going to count those in. But they definitely will go on. Um... No idea where this came from. I could just do the whole pocket, couldn't I? Shall I? Bit of a cheat, but do you know what? Don't have to be lots and lots, does it? <coughs> I'm going to read 
launch the thingy. Why not? Why not? And actually, this is quite a nice stiff card, and that will give that a bit of strength, actually. I'll avoid the middle bit where I'm about to punch it. Probably haven't missed it at all. glued that terribly well. I'll need to go back and faff. Oh, come on. Let's go in. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Right, I like that. That's you know simple but effective. Um, like I say, they don't have to be um, super duper over the top, do they? Only vintage photos done a runner. Where have you gone? No good hiding. Got me little archival one there. I'll do. Might need a little label on this one, what do you reckon? And that's it really, it doesn't need to be any more than that. It's a nice little image, no idea where that came from, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, it just um, could be quite simple. She says, adding stuff. grab a label in a second and then I'm going to let you go because you've been very very good well done sounds like my neighbours are going to be having a party <laughs> you can hear it don't really want to stick it on his tail do I that's a little one there Very dodgy cutting there. Let me just quickly. Stay still. like okay shame they didn't dry in time um but yeah i will fussy cut those out i shouldn't have put so much water on it's very full um and put that on this one this one definitely needs something else on it but i'm just thinking that'll look great when it's got a, a dragonfly stuck on the front there like that somewhere or coming down like that maybe I don't know we'll play around with that so let me give you a quick up close so yeah it, the challenge was to alter three well make three bags basically and that's kind of what I've done I mean you know they're pockets at the end of the day um so yeah this was out of wrapping fish and chip paper <laughs> 
Fishy chips were delicious, by the way. And that will have a dragonfly stuff on that one. And this is obviously going to go in the journal as well. And I like that one. Flippy flappy bag made out of Amazon packaging and turned into a pocket. So, yeah. I hope that hit the brief. Um, yeah, as I say, this is sadly the last one. Um, I will be personally doing one more because um, I want to do the cover and then... I might see if one of these will fit in the little book and um yeah and that'll be it really oh sad isn't it okay um yeah i'm gonna let you go thanks ever so much and i'll catch you on the next one all right bye